Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here with Game 3 of the 1951 Cincinnati Reds taking on the 1977 L.A. Dodgers. Now, just to recap, this is a three-game series. Well, it's a best-of-three game series. And the Dodgers won Game 1, but Cincinnati... Um, one game in fact LA won game one five four and Cincinnati won game two eight to four and as a reminder I'm doing this kind of a round robin tournament where I take a good team from the past and a bad team from the past and I play them against each other to see who will advance to the next round robin round and the uh, 1977 Dodgers were 98 and 64, and the 1951 Reds were 68 and 86. So that's where we are. We're tied at one game each. And today's pitchers, the um, <clears throat> the Dodgers are home, so for the third game, so uh, their pitcher on the mound today will be Bert Hooten. And Burt Hooten is going to be going up against Howie Fox of the Cincinnati Reds. So, without further ado, let's get started on this. The lineups are about the same, with the exception of the um, uh, the the Dodgers have had injuries, so they're going to have Glenn Burke in right field. And they are also going to go with Jerry Grody at catcher. So he will be the catcher for the Dodgers today. Um, it was Johnny Oates who was filling in for the injured Steve Yeager. But today it's going to be Grody. And Burke will stay on as the right fielder. Uh, replacing Reggie Smith. Who got injured in the last game. So let's get on with this. We got the first batter for Cincinnati is Lloyd Merriman. And he gets a ground ball to the second baseman and he's out. He has not had a very good series. He's only one for 11. So, uh-oh. That isn't good. All right, the second uh, batter for the Reds will be Joe Adcock. And he pops out to third base. So he's out. He also has not had a very good series. He's just two for 12. And that brings up Johnny Weirestruck. He gets a 6-10 on Hooten's card, which is a fly ball left field. So he's also out. He hasn't been bad. He's hitting 300 for the uh, series. So Cincinnati gets no runs in the top of the first. And we go to the bottom of the first. Davy Lopes up. He gets a 4 8, which is a single one to 8. And he is out. That is a line out to third base. Lopes down. Steve Garvey's up. He gets a 3 4, which is a ground ball to short, and he's out. And that brings up Dusty Baker. And he gets a 6 9, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop for the Reds is stall cup and he's a three and that's a five and a three probably an out i'm gonna guess and it is an out so dusty baker also goes down and the dodgers also get no runs in the bottom of the first we go to the top of the second in a scoreless game three with Connie Ryan up for the Reds. He gets a 4-8. That is a fly ball to center. Hooten is right on top of his game so far. Connie Ryan also not having a very good series. He is 1 for 9. Ted Klazuski's up. Big Clue gets a 4-4, which is a fly ball to center field. The center fielder for the Dodgers is Rick Mundy. He's a 2. That's a 12. He's out. So Big Clue is gone. And up steps Stalkup. And 
and he gets 6-4, which is a fly ball to center field, and he is out. So the Reds get nothing in the second, and we go to the bottom of the second, where the Dodgers will send up Rick Mundy to start off against Howie Fox. And that is a 5-7, which is a ground ball to second. The second baseman for the Reds is Connie Ryan, and he's a three. And that's going to be a one. That's a single. So Rick Mundy aboard on a hit that gets past Connie Ryan. And that's the first hit allowed in the game, and definitely by Fox, therefore. Ron say the Penguin is up with Man with Mundy on and no out. That's a 5-10, which is a line out to shortstop, one away. Say is out. That brings up Lee Lacey, the DH. And oh, by the way, home run 1-4 to four or a double. That's going to be a double. So they, let's see. The runner is, the runner is Monday. He's a 1-14 to 14 running. And let's see, the right fielder is I'm gonna check the right fielder's arm. It's wire struck. And he has an arm of negative two. So it would be a one to twelve. They're gonna hold him up because there's only one out. Um, and as I was I, as I was starting to say, we do have DHs in this. Um, so that was a, what was that? One five. Yeah, it's a double. So, um, yeah, they're going to hold up. Um, and we are going to have DHs in all of my games, in all of these round robin tournaments, because baseball is going to the DH and it helps me concentrate better and keep better track if I don't have to keep putting in pitcher, different pitcher hitting cards for different pitchers that are rated differently. And then, you know, it's just, it gets, I get kind of uh, off track at, at times if I keep doing that. So Bill Russell is up with one out and runners at second and third. And he gets a 1 5 single double asterisk, knocks in uh, both runs. So. Russell with a big hit there. He has actually been very good this series. 5 for 10, even though that's his first RBI of the series. And Fox gives up a hit um, and two earned runs. And Russell is at first with one out and Jerry Grody up. 2-5. That's a walk. So the Dodgers get Grody aboard. Fox with a walk. You would think that there's going to be a short hook here for Fox, although the Reds pitching staff, you can't imagine, it's been very good. Glenn Burke up 2 4 is going to be a ground ball shortstop double play. So Glenn Burke hits into a double play that ends the inning, but LA gets two runs in the second, and they lead 2 0. And up steps the Reds with Bobby Adams. And he gets a 1-7, which is a fly ball to left. That brings up Dixie Howell. And he gets a 1-6, which is a strikeout. Hooten with his first anything. And it's a strikeout. And Bob Usher gets a 5-9 which is a strikeout, and that's his second strikeout. So, uh, yeah, Hooten is really dealing here. Hasn't allowed a man on base for the Reds. And Davey Lopes comes up here in the bottom of the third. He gets a 2-2, two -two, which is a ground ball to third. One away. Steve Garvey gets a 6-8 which is a fly ball to left, and he's out. Flying out to left, two away. And up steps Dusty Baker, and 
And he gets a 5-5, which is a fly ball to center. We go to the top of the fourth, and the Reds are losing 2-0. And they're going to send that lineup up against Hooten, who hasn't allowed a hit or a walk yet. In fact, has a perfect game going. And Lloyd Merriman comes up, and he gets a 4-5, which is a ground ball to second, and he's out. Merriman, again, continuing to have a terrible series. Joe Adcock gets a 1-9, which is a ground ball to short. That's two away. And Weirestruck is up, and he gets a 5-10, which is a catcher card. And Grody, I think, is a 3, but let me check it. He's a 2. He's actually a 2 at catcher. And that is a 9. 9 and 2 at catcher is a pop-out. So, um, Weirestruck is out. Weirestek is out. No runs for them in the 4th. And Hooten still dealing a perfect game. And that brings up Rick Monday. Rick Monday gets a strikeout. So you got to think maybe, you know, maybe the Dodgers are thinking we don't need any more runs because Hooten is dealing out there. Ron Say is up. He gets a 6-3. That is a strikeout. And that's the second strikeout for Fox. And Lee Lacey's up and he gets a 111, which is a double one or a single. He gets a single, so Lacey is two for two this game. Fourth hit off uh, uh, Howie Fox, and Bill Russell's up. And he gets a 5-4, which is a pop-out to first. He got the uh, only two RBIs of the game, with runners at second and third. He had a single that scored both. L.A. takes their 2-0 lead to the top of the fifth. And Connie Ryan is facing... Hooten, who has the perfect game still, and he strikes out Connie Ryan. That's the third strikeout for Hooten. Up steps Big Clue. He gets a 211. It's a pop out first. Klazuski, only one for 10 in the series. And Stall Cup is up, and he gets a 5 3, which is a ground ball to first, and Garvey is a 1. And that's a 10. Let's see. I think that's an out. Uh, no, it isn't. It's a, it's a one base error. So, there's an error by Garvey. So, that ruins the perfect game. But, he still has a no hitter going. And Bobby Adams is up and he gets a 5-6, which is a strikeout. So... The Reds managed to get one man on base that inning. But Hooten has proven to be just too much for him. And in the biggest way. The only, I mean, he's lost a perfect game only because the sure-handed Garvey made an error. So, Jerry Grody is up here in the bottom of the fifth. He gets a 1-7, which is a single one to nine. And he does get a single, so Grody is aboard. Grody has been on both times. He walked the first time and got a single this time. Fifth hit off of Fox. Glenn Burke is up. He gets a 5-4, which is a pop-out to first. So, Burke is out. Baby Lopes up. That's a 5-6. That's going to be a pop-out to short. And up steps Steve Garvey, the man who cost Hooten so far the perfect game. And he hits a home run, two-run homer. I think they're going to forgive him. Steve Garvey goes deep off of Fox. That's his second homer of the series as well. And now it's 4 nothing Dodgers. And Dusty Baker up. He gets a 6-6. Six, six. Which is a triple one to four or a single. That's going to be a single. Baker with the hit. 
Seven hits allowed by Fox, and Mundy is up, and he gets 310, which is a ground ball shortstop A, so he is out. But L.A. gets two more off of Fox, and now it's 4 nothing, which looks like it's absolutely insurmountable since Hooten is stringing a uh, perfect game going to the top of the sixth with Dixie Howell facing him. And that's going to be a single one to four. Can this break up the no-hitter? Or not, he didn't have a perfect game. So that's one away. So he's out. Dixie Howell, though. Uh, uh, yeah, to, um, I stand corrected. He has a no-hitter going right now. Not a perfect game. Uh, Bob Usher gets a 5-11, which is a ground ball to the pitcher. And he is a three defensively. That's going to be a 15 15 and a 3 is a one base error by Hooten, but at least he makes an error and it's not a hit. So the Reds have a runner on with one away. And Lloyd Merriman up, who's had a terrible series, as I said, 6 9, and that's going to be a strikeout. Strikeout for Merriman. Fifth on the day for Bert Hooten, and Adcock is up, and he gets a 6-7, which is a second base X. The second baseman for the Dodgers is Lopes. He's a 3. That's a 19 and a 3 at second, which is a roll again. And that's a 10. 10 and 3 at second base is a one base error. So the Reds have had... Um, now, three base runners, and all in the game. Um, no, four. I think they've had... I think they've had four base runners, and, um, and three of them gotten on by... Um, no, they've had three. They've had three base runners, and all three have gotten on by errors. Wyristek is up, and he gets a 4-10 which is a ground ball third base X. And third baseman is Say, and I think he is three. No, he's a two. Six and two is going to be an out. And Wyristek is out. So that's it. We go, they don't get any runs in the sixth. And we go to the bottom of the sixth with the Reds losing four nothing and Hooten pitching a no-hitter against them. And they are going to take um, Fox out of the game. And they are going to put in Bud Byerly. I have never in my life heard of Bud Byerly, but here he is. So that closes the book on Fox. He went uh, five innings. Five very forgettable innings. He allowed seven hits and walked a man, gave up a home run and four RBIs, or four runs, basically. So, here comes Ron Say. He gets a 2-9, which is a strikeout. Lee Lacey is up. He gets a 3-9, which is a ground ball to the short. So Lacey is out. And up comes Russell. And Russell gets a 1-8, which is a line out to second base, right between two possible singles. But it's not to be, and we go to the top of the seventh. Top of the seventh with Hooten still pitching a no-hitter. And that brings up Connie Ryan. Connie Ryan with a 6-12 is a ground ball, or no, it's a, yeah, it's a ground ball pitcher B, so Connie Ryan is out. This is a stark contrast to game two, where the Reds scored eight runs, and Klazuski comes up. He gets a 6-8, which is a walk, but that still keeps the no-hitter in place. Wooten walk on the man, so there's one on, one out, stall cup up. He gets a 3-6, which is a line out to second. He's out. 
And that brings up Adams, Bobby Adams. He gets a 4-4, which is a fly to center. The center fielder is Rick Mundy, and he's a 2. That is a 9. Don't tell me that. That's going to be a hit. That is going to be a double. So, Hooten gives up the hit on uh, Rick, because Rick Mundy was in center field, basically. Um... So, that's the first hit allowed by Hooten. Runners at second and third, and Howell up, and he gets a 1-5, which is a walk, and loads the bases for the Reds. They can make it interesting here. They're going from, uh, from being totally shut down by Hooten to having three runners on, the bases loaded, with two down and Bob Usher up. And he gets a 1-8, and that is a line out to second base, and that's going to be it for the Reds. So they had, they, they, uh, they threatened there, but they didn't quite come through. So they are still losing 4-0, bottom of the seventh. Grody up against Byerly still. 3-8 is a ground ball to the shortstop, so Grody's out. Grounding out to short. Byerly pitched 66 innings that um, year, so I mean he's good for at least this, and then we'll see from there. Burke gets a 1-7, which is a strikeout. Two away. Of course, Byerly is actually pitching very well, so you got to think he would go out for at least the next inning. And then Lopes is up, and he gets a 2-7, which is a walk. And that's the first man that Byerly has allowed on. In his time pitching, and Steve Garvey comes up, and he gets a 1-4, which is a pop-out to short. No runs for the Dodgers in the seventh. We go to the top of the eighth. With the Reds batting against Hooten, who has a one-hitter going against him, a one-hit shutout, and they're losing 4 nothing. So they got an uphill battle here with Merriman up, and he gets a 2-9, which is a strikeout. Merriman absolutely having a horrible series. One away. Not what you want to see from your leadoff man. Joe Adcock is up. He gets a 111, and he that's a shortstop, ground out to shortstop, so he's out. And I imagine many of these Cincinnati hitters, players, were a lot better in other years. Wyrus Tech is up. That's a 4-7, which is a single 1-8. to eight, Or wait, 4-7 uh, is a fly ball. So, Weirstek is out. And with that, um, Hooten still has the no-hitter going through 8. Or the one-hitter. Sorry, sorry, sorry. One-hitter. Didn't want to get people, you know, on the edge of their seats. Dusty Baker is up. Bottom of the 8. They're going to let um, Byerly pitch 6-4. That is a ground ball to third base. The third baseman is Bobby Adams, and he is a three at third. That's probably going to be something. 13-3 and three is... No, it's an out. So Baker is out. Brings up Rick Monday. 2-7. He strikes out. And that brings up Ron Say, who gets 6-6, six, six, which is a double one to two or a single. And it's going to be a single for Say. And Lee Lacey is up with one man on, two down. And he gets a 2-8, which is a pop-out. So the Dodgers scored no runs in the eighth, but they maybe didn't have to because they've already got four. And the Reds have none, and they're up in the top of the ninth. Hooten pitching a one-hit shutout against them, and Connie Ryan up. He gets a 2-9, which is a strikeout. Seventh strikeout for Hooten. Klazuski, big clue, gets a fly ball to center field, and he's out. 
and stall cup is up and he gets a 2-7 which is a single so he wouldn't have I guess that gets Monday off the hook because uh, that would have been a hit no matter what um, even if Hooten still had the no hitter going so that's the second hit allowed by him and Bobby Ryan comes up and he gets a 5-7 which is a triple one single double asterisk all of a sudden Hooten's falling apart And Bobby Adams getting a single, but he has such a big lead. Um, uh, Lasorda is going to stick with him. That brings up Howell. He gets a 5-10, which is a catcher card X. That's Grody, and he's a 2. That's a 9 and a 2 at catcher, which is a pop-out. And that is the end of the game. With the Reds falling a little short to the Dodgers, quite a bit little short. Um, by the score of 4 nothing in the final game as Burt Hooten completely shut them down. Burt Hooten with the win, pitching nine innings, allowing only three hits, striking out seven, and only walking two. And the loss going to Howie Fox, who pitched... Um, who pitched five innings, allowed seven hits, only struck out two, walked a man, gave up a home run, and all four runs to the Dodgers. So, with that, the Dodgers will advance to the next round, um, where, among um, other teams that will be mentioned later as we go along, the Phillies of 1961, I believe, will await them as one of the potential um, opponents. But right now, that's the Dodgers advancing, the 51 Reds going home. That's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.